Hello guys and welcome back to the How To Animate YouTube channel. And if you've been following this series you'll know that this is video 7 and it's going to be the final one. And in this video I'm going to show you how to polish an animation up to final. So just let me show you where we're at. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself and this happens. Okay so this is probably a good first pass animation, probably second pass to be honest. So in this video I'm going to take this up to final. Um, so what I like to do at this point is return back to the body and get into the graph editor. So I'm going to open up the graph editor. I'm going to go up to Windows, Animation Editors, Graph Editor. Okay, so I've docked the graph editor up here. It's pretty tight on this screen. Obviously I'm only using one screen. Uh, if you are using Maya, I would suggest getting a second screen so you can have your graph editor and all the other control stuff on the other screen. So when polishing animation, the first control I like to do is the main control here. So most of the movement generates from here anyway, so this is a good place to start. And we're going to have a look at the translate Y first of all, which is the up and down control. So as you can see here, it's not too bad, it's pretty clean. So what I like to do is just scrub through and just make small adjustments here and there. And just make sure everything's nice and smooth. Make sure the ups have got more time up the top, like here and here. If anything looks odd, then just scrub along and have a look. So we've got a mini bounce here, that's all good. Just keep working your way along the animation. And just make sure this curve is nice and smooth. So you see here we've got a flat curve. So he's actually quite still during this moment. So I'm just going to bring this into a bit more of a flattened state along here. You always want to make sure you've got a slight curve in everything. Okay, so here we've got our anticipation down. So I'm just going to neaten this up a little bit. Okay, so that is quite a good looking curve. So it's just a case now of going through each and every single curve. It does take a long time to do this, but when you actually finish and you have a look at your animation again, it's going to look a lot cleaner and a lot better. So I generally like to start with the translates. So once they're cleaned up, we're going to go into the rotate. So rotate X is back and forth like this. So it's quite an important one to get right because it kind of needs to work with the translate Y and be slightly offset most of the time. So I'm just going to scrub through here. So any kind of offsetting can be done here. So I'm just going to make sure you've got nice smooth curves. So he's coming up here, and you see the way he is rotating down exactly the same time as he's translating. I kind of want to increase that offset, so I'm just going to drag these across just a little bit and just give that a slightly softer into there. Okay, I'm just going to delay that by one more frame and just angle it up this way, just so you get a slight overshoot coming through. Okay, he's probably lent a bit too far back at this point, so I'm just going to bring that up. So just the, Using the graph edit, it just allows you to go through just stage by stage and just do very fine tweaks, make sure everything's working. It's just a very nice visual representation of what's going on in your animation. Okay, so that is the rotate X curve now done. You see it's a lot smoother and um, yeah, it's starting to work a lot better with the translate Y, which is mostly what it works with. So next we're gonna work with the rotate Y. As you can see, this is kind of a bit messy. Um, so stuff like this, you wanna get rid of this. 
So as he comes down, yeah, there's there's absolutely no reason for that key. And don't be afraid at this point to start deleting keys that aren't aren't needed. So guys, I've gone through the main controller's curves and cleaned them up, so this is what it looks like now. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Okay, so already it's looking a bit more polished. So from here, what I like to do is work my way up the hierarchy. So I've done the main cog, and next I'm going to work on the chest, and then all the way down to the arms, the fingers, and then I'll do the head. And then, once that's done, then we're going to do... A pass on the facial stuff and make sure we properly shape everything with using all the controllers this time so I'm probably gonna do this off camera for the rest of the curves and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done so I spent about an hour cleaning up all the curves on the body and this is what we got now I start to get a little ahead I start to get a little something for myself and this happens okay so it's generally looking a lot tidier on the body Obviously the face still needs another pass and it's really starting to show that it's not polished now. So we're going to open up the face UI and give that another pass. So what I've done is created a new camera and parented it under the head. Uh, the previous camera is parent constrained. So that means we couldn't actually move around the face. So this camera allows us to move around the face like this and still be parented to the head. It's going to be useful for the next part. So if you have a look at this, this lip sync here. I think the one of the main issues with it is because I just animated like this across these axes here there's no sort of forward and back of the uh, edges of the mouth so it kind of looks very flat so what I'm going to do is just do a pass looking at it from this kind of angle instead so for example now I if uh, the cheeks came back this way we'd get a much nicer shape like so so I'm just going to do a pass just uh, using this view here instead. Right, so I went through and animated the mouth along this axis here now. So this is what it's looking like. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. Okay, so it's looking a lot more natural. Before it was very sort of flat, and it had sort of, um, it just didn't look right. So just going through and just pulling the mouth back when it's needed gives a much nicer shape to the mouth. So on this rig, we've also got these little corrective controls which are quite nice so by pulling the mouth back it's kind of made some unnatural shapes here and there so it looks a bit sort of triangular so I'm just going to use these shapes these controls here just to shape the mouth a bit nicer throughout So guys, I've gone ahead and animated the cheek part and the nose part now. So it's starting to look a lot better. I've also animated this little control here, which is really nice. It gives you a bit of squash and stretch on the jaw. And you can also rotate as well. So I'm just going to play this for you. Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself. And this happens. Okay, so it's starting to come together. Um, I'm just going to slowly scrub through this just so you can see what's going on. So using the squash and stretch, let's take this bit for example. So during this part you bring it all the way up and for the more exaggerated open parts bring the jaw down and it kind of just stretches the entire mass down. So the whole face is working as one unit. Okay, so we're almost there. Uh, the last section I need to work on is the eyes. Uh, so I just animated the base controls 
at the moment so you've got all these little sub controls that you can shape the eyes properly and same with the eyebrows as well all I did was just sort of pose them into an angle position and then move them up and down so they're very very rough at the moment so what I'm going to do now is just go through and do a pass on the eye area Now I start to get a little ahead. I start to get a little something for myself, and this happens. So that brings us to the end of this series. I hope you enjoyed watching me animate this. I've had a lot of fun doing it. The next series I'm going to be doing is on how to animate horses, so look out for that one. And uh, see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.